Welcome to Simji Sharon location. Today we're in Brevard County, specifically the Melbourne Historical Area downtown, and we're looking at a multi-use building. Um, if we pan to the south, which would be the delta side of the structure, you'll know we have exposures that run the length of the city block, and likewise to the north as I pan the Bravo side, we have exposures there with one caveat, and that is an entrance to a mall area that runs the entire length of the um, Bravo side of the structure with shops and stores there. This gives you a better view of the Bravo side of our target structure. As I pan a little more closely, you will see this is a mall entrance um, with shops that run the entire length of the B1 exposure of our target building. And a better look at the B1 exposure of our target structure, you'll note again that there are shops on both sides that run an entire city block as well. Okay, I'm now on the Charlie side of our structure, and as I pan the entire Charlie side, you will note that again, more businesses, uh, mixed occupancy and shops on the Charlie side of our target structure. I'm now on the Delta side of our target exposure, and again, businesses that run almost the entire length of the city block. As noted that there are exposures on the Delta side of the structure, and as I pan back around to the Alpha side of our target structure, I'll zoom in a little more closely on the target structure itself to give you a better idea. Keeping in mind that these are small streets, high traffic area, so positioning of apparatus is going to be crucial. Okay, now that I've finished the video walk around of the target structure, let's build a quick simulation. First I want to select New in Sims You Share. I want to give the simulation a name. And then since I've already loaded the still photo from my smartphone to my computer that I'm going to select from disk and click open. Now from here I just start adding elements. So I'm going to add a new element and we're going to add fire, we'll do a bright cloud and I can adjust the parameters either through the edit or I can scroll, um, I can maneuver the fire any place I want it to be. So I'm going to bring it right where I think I'm going to use it. Use a very small amount right here behind or in, actually I'm going to put it just a little bit in front of that tree because I'm going to show you some interesting things you can do with masking as well. So now we're going to add um, another element and this time we're going to use um, let's do smoke and we'll do an auto igniting smoke and much like the fire, you can adjust the parameters, the opacity, the shapes, etc. So I'm going to bring that down just a little bit and put it right where I want it to go coming out of that window. Click Done and Play. Now, you see it's a bit problematic. Um, it doesn't look that bad um, by the tree, but you see right here it looks like the fire is coming out of the sidewalk. I've got the, the proper amount of smoke I want. I want the auto igniting smoke, but I want to just change it and tweak it just a little bit. So I select right here, click the back, back button, and now I'm going to add another new element, and this time I'm going to use the utility called mask, and we'll mask that object that I'm concerned about, i.e. the tree. So I'm going to put it right about here. And again, once you select an element, you can always edit that element using the, the um, pencil tool. So first of all, which items are we going to mask? We're going to choose the smoke and the fire. And then secondly, what are the parameters of that mask? 
So we click again. We're going to edit the mask. And this, this time we're going to edit the boundaries. So now I can kind of follow that tree line just a little. Get my smoke out here where I want it to go. And then I can also remove that smoke. As you can see, um, it was kind of on the sidewalk earlier. So my mask boundary is going to be right at the base of that window. Um, click done. And then I'm going to make one more edit with, with my mask. And that is the type of mask I want to use. So we're going to choose, instead of a regular mask, a portal. A window in which we look through. Click done. And now let's test it and see how the smoke looks now behind the tree coming out of the window exactly what I wanted now let's add one more little feature that'll take us just a moment and um, let's add some more smoke and uh, I think I'll choose banking down smoke as I mentioned earlier before all the parameters can be adjusted so I will get it just like I want it approximately the size of the uh, yellow awning there and again based on your own strategy and tactics and knowledge of fire you can develop any way you want but I want to just stay a little clear of that tree um, and I'm going to adjust the opacity just a tad so we can see through that smoke and make it not quite as heavy as, as the uh, auto black turbulent smoke that we're looking at and that's it uh, done and play my simulation and we did it in what less than five minutes now upon arrival or let's go back a step even before arrival we want to remember the acronym FLIP F-L-I-P first responder safety and that starts the moment you strap the seat belts on in the apparatus bay floor um, and continues through responding to the fire on scene, returning to the station, and back in service. L is for life safety, the general public at large. Obviously, here we're going to have a life safety issue because of the possibility of that being apartments above the store, uh, not to mention customers inside the store. I is for incident stabilization, and P for property conservation. So upon arrival, we want to give a CAN report using the acronym CAN. What are the conditions upon arrival? What actions are being taken? And then what needs or additional resources are required to mitigate this scene? Using the acronym OST, what is our objective and what are the subordinate strategy and tactics? And these will all help us form that initial attack plan or incident action plan for the scene. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Sims You Share on Location. Look forward to talking to you all again soon. And uh, get out there and build some simulations of your first due area. Do some sets and reps with your, your folks. Be a mentor to the other firefighters uh, that you work with. Um, and enjoy this fine product.